Welcome back to another uh, Nova Armory armor video. Today we'll be taking apart a Taurus G2S. Very similar to the Glock, we're taking apart wise, but first things first, you want to make sure the firearm is safe to handle. Everything's good. Like a Glock, you have to pull the trigger, make sure it's good. Take it back just a little bit, a thumb behind the beaver tail and firm grip on the slide and there will be a button here and a button here. You wanna pull those simultaneously and the slide will come right off. Like again, you have a frame, a recoil spring, and a barrel on the slide. So first, you want to inspect your barrel. Check it out. It's clean, dirty. How to clean the barrel. First, you wanna get your snake of the right caliber, nine millimeter for this firearm. You wanna put a little bit of COP on the coarse edges of the snake. You wanna take the shoelace and go through the back of the barrel, not the front. And you wanna go through just a little bit. Make sure it's okay. If it's clean or dirty, and go another round. It's good to me. Next, you wanna inspect the back end of your barrel because that will also get very dirty as well. Depending on how dirty it is, you have to get a brush, either metal haired or nylon haired. This is metal. And you keep brushing the back end. Make sure there's no carbon buildup. Inspect it. Get a little cloth with, get a little cloth with some CLP. And you wipe it down. And you'll get all that up. Now once you're fine with the barrel, you like the way it looks, move on to your slide. Again, you just want to get a nice little clean, get a little cloth with some COP. and you wanna go through every little inch of that slide. You wanna make sure it's clean and nice and a thin layer of lubrication. Because the COP will also lubricate as well as it cleans. Depending on the firearm, you may need to get into smaller spaces. in between these little parts right here where the frame locks in with the slide. You wanna make sure those sides are properly lubricated. And not too much, you don't wanna drown it. Just a nice thin layer when you drag your finger across, it goes along real easily. And when you're satisfied with that cleaning, you wanna to go to your frame. Also, depending how dirty it is, you may need to break out the brush. This, in this case, is not very dirty, so I will just go in with some Q-tips and just go along all these little, the slide locking mechanism and all around the feed ramp because those are the parts that is gonna get very dirty. Now when you're satisfied with the cleaning, you wanna make sure everything is properly lubricated. To lubricate a Taurus G3S properly, you wanna get a little bit of COP right there. 
just a little bit and it'll ride down into the trigger mechanism. You might want to get it some cloth, get some COP on there. lube a couple things down and also where the slide locks in with the frame and when you're fine with your lubrication you want to look at the barrel you want to have a thin layer of lubrication around the barrel and on the sides of the barrel as well. Inspect your slide. Make sure everything has just a thin little layer of COP. Not too much. Just so your finger can slide against it easily. All right, now to reassemble. Get your slide, your barrel, your recoil spring, down on the second little hook right there not the first and then you realign your frame with your slide on the back of it and you have to function test it to make sure it will function properly and that's how you clean and properly lubricate a Taurus G2S thank you for joining us on another Nova Armory armor video and we have plenty of more for you to see See you next time.